Hello, Positive Pups family. I am Brittany Wallace, the founder and head trainer at Positive Pups Daycare and Training. Thank you for joining me. Ooh, I got a little friend joining me here. This is Tito, my little chihuahua. All right, I wanted to chat about our hours and a few things about when you're coming into daycare um, to keep everybody safe. So our hours are now Monday to Friday, 6.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Um, something we are asking is for our dogs to arrive no later than 9.30 a.m. Um, the reason we're doing this is it really, um, each time a dog comes in, it's really exciting for all the other dogs. <laughs> so when you come in, uh, or when dogs are coming in, what that does is it gets arousal up. And arousal is when our dogs are getting really excited. And this is when our dogs can make <laughs> mistakes. They get really excited and um, make poor decisions sometimes, like um, redirecting on their friends, things like that. So we do our very best to keep the arousal in the building down and as low as possible. And one of the ways we are doing this is by having um, those set drop-off times so the dogs can really get settled in the group. And by 10 a.m. Um, till 12, they can have a nice two-hour play without interruptions. Um, we're working on lots of different things now in daycare. We've implemented a lot more fun activities for them to be doing in the day. And it can be really hard if we're constantly having to run up front and bring in another dog. Um, it just takes away from the daycare experience. So that's why we're doing that. We also schedule our daycare assessments for 10 a.m. Um, so uh, why we do this is all of the dogs that are at daycare um, have had an opportunity to settle in. We've been able to adjust the play groups um, so everybody's having the best time they possibly can have. Um, so yeah, that allows us to have the groups already set up and then um, gives us an opportunity to empty a play group um, for the daycare assessment. So when we do our daycare assessments, um, we do an empty play group. So we do all the dogs go outside and we bring in one dog at a time. Um, so we can get to know the new dog, make sure they're comfortable with each friend as we bring them in. Um, so yeah, that's what that looks like <laughs> and why we do things the way we do them. Uh, so when your dog arrives, we actually ask that you come in as quiet as possible. So try to avoid slamming the door and avoid trigger words like, hello. <laughs> um, you may have noticed <laughs> it does trigger the dogs. So we ask that you come in as quiet as possible. Again, it's if it happens, it happens, no worries. Um, but it just helps us again with keeping that arousal down. So coming in, if we don't see you come in, um, you're welcome to ring that bell in the front lobby right away. I do have a camera that I've been uh, meaning to set up, so that'll also help um, us get a notification once I have that set up. So, uh, But in the meantime, ring that bell. Uh, hey, Tito. Uh, what else? I have a little note. Oh, yes. Um, so um, something else that we really want to remind our clients about is bringing your dog in on leash. So uh, we do need them to come in on leash and to stay on leash, pass that leash right to the team member. Um, this is just for safety, your safety, other dog safety. Um, we just are very close to that main road on 12th Ave and it doesn't take, it only takes one time for something unfortunate to happen and we just would hate for anything like that to happen. So let's prevent it. Um, if you do forget a leash, just come inside. We will have one either hanging in the lobby or if it's been forgotten to be back there, just let us know and we'll provide you a leash and collar if needed uh, to bring your dog in. Um, a reminder with daycare, we don't allow any aversive tools. So we don't allow any um, choke collars, slip leads, prong collars or e-collars. Um, we also will switch out collars to flat buckle collars, flat quick release um, collars. So if you do bring your dog in on a buckle collar, that's fine. We just won't be leaving it on them in daycare. We will switch it out or they'll have no collar on. If they're really um, wrestling with other friends, you may see that they have no collar on. It just means we've removed it for safety. Um, something that is definitely worth noting is um, when your dogs are playing and wrestling, what can happen is um, their mouth can get stuck in that collar and twist. And what ends up happening is one dog can be getting strangled um, and the other dog is stuck there. So it's a very huge safety concern and we do recommend um, that all facilities for safety reasons should be implementing that very simple um, rule or um, doing those things to keep dogs safe. Uh, but. That's just my opinion, I guess. <laughs> um, all right, so 
Um, you are welcome to bring your dog in with a treat or a lunch. Let us know if they do take it at a specific time. If not, we will offer it at nap time, which is generally from 12 till 2 o'clock. Um, and during that time, we'll have our little nap time. So your dog is out playing from 10 till 12 um, or maybe quarter to 12 from the moment they arrive. Anyways, they're out all morning until about 12 o'clock. And then they do. we do a two hour nap in the middle of the day where we have lots of our um, switching over our mops, do a lot of our cleaning tasks, do some of our add-ons. Um, remember, we have lots of add-ons, so feel free to add that to your booking. Um, we have nail trims, brush outs, as well as uh, peanut butter Kongs, and of course our fun little brain games uh, for canine enrichment. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, hey you, you're adorable. Oh my goodness. Tito says, I hate nail trims, but I love treats. So that helps, eh? All right, so um, yes, yeah, so for our nap time and midday stuff, uh, I do want to remind people that um, we do have our our half days of daycare, but they do um, the morning half day ends at 1 p.m. So if you do your dog stays past 1 p.m., it automatically is a full day of daycare. And if um, you're bringing your dog for an afternoon of daycare, they need to arrive after 12 o'clock. Um, it just makes it a lot easier for us um, for our transition. As I said, dogs are in nap time. We're um, getting things tidied up and doing our other activities. Um, and if people are coming early or later, it can definitely um, just kind of throw a little bit of a wrench in our routine. And we have quite a routine to follow and lots of different things um, to maintain the facility and keep things clean. Hey, uh, so uh, once you're, if your dog is doing a half day or if you are doing an earlier pickup, definitely let us know um, so we can um, adjust your dog's day based on that. So sometimes um, dogs are getting picked up at two or three. Uh, sometimes we won't give them a nap just so they're getting the most out of their day. We definitely want you to get um, have your make sure your dog is getting the most out of their visit and we don't um, want them to have a nap and then all of a sudden they go home right after so definitely let us know um, with naps uh, your dog may get an additional nap during their visit so um, the reason we wouldn't just stick your dog in a house or a kennel or put them away for no reason um, we would be doing that because your dog is showing signs that they're stressed or really tired um, or arousal. So if they're getting really over aroused by, um, by the dogs or by the noise, we may move your dog to a quieter space, allow the dogs to be a little bit more settled so your dog isn't getting overstimulated in the environment. As daycare can get a little busy and a little crazy at times and we want to do our best to keep everybody as safe as possible. Um, in the event your dog does have additional naps, we will communicate that to you. So it will not be a surprise. Your dog won't just be sitting in a kennel unbeknownst to you. So please don't be concerned, but feel free to always ask um, about your dog's day. We give as much feedback as we can. Of course, during rush times, it can be a little harder to pass on that feedback. Um, so feel free to ask um, and definitely check out our Facebook, Instagram, and all of those um, social media things to kind of see what they've been up to. We definitely do our best to get as much of that out as possible, but the safety of the dogs is always priority. Um, so sometimes uh, social media is put on the back burner when it comes to those sort of things. Definitely if we have a higher arousal day, um, a little bit more um, high energy dogs, uh, the phones are de aren't always, uh, are definitely not priority. So we wanna make sure that we're monitoring the dogs and keeping everybody as safe as possible. Again, safety is so important um, when we're dealing with so many dogs and ensuring that they're all having an enjoyable day. Um, oh goodness, I'll take a little pause here and I'll come right back. All right, Tia was wanting attention. Oh my goodness, they're dying for attention. So, all right, um, so let's move on to the afternoon. So we get all of your doggies out of nap time by two o'clock. Um, they're out playing for up to two hours. Um, some dogs at four o'clock when the rush starts or just before four, um, some dogs will get really antsy. They're, they're very aware that it's close to home time and they can get a little bit reactive or um, stressed and will pace it um, at the gate. 
Um, in those events, we, we um, will put your dog away for a nap. So we don't want them to practice that behavior. We don't want them stressing out. And we will let you know that your dog gets a little bit more um, anxious towards the end of the day. And we'll generally rec recommend an earlier pickup or let you know that they are going down for that nap during that time. Um, if they aren't picked up, I generally try, uh, we all as a team try to pull um, any dogs that have been down at four back out at five or 5.30. Um, but unfortunately, some dogs just cannot rejoin the group and do have to stay in nap time until they are picked up. Um, again, it, every dog is different and what uh, we wanna make sure that we're keeping them safe and having an enjoyable time with us. Um, our biggest thing, we try to have the dogs out as much as possible during the day and kennel as little as possible. Um, so just keeping that in mind, um, and if you're ever curious about your dog or um, their routine for the day, please let us know. Um, if your dog is really tired and you think they need additional naps, definitely let us know that as well. Um, other things that are noteworthy, letting us know if your dog isn't going to the bathroom or um, drinking water while they're with us. We can offer alternative um, water dishes, so sometimes those water jugs can be a little bit weird and scary at first so we will bring out um, a nice little silver bowl um, which can help encourage uh, certain dogs to drink more water so definitely let us know communication is huge so if anything is changing um, with your dog they have new allergies or you're noticing any um, different behaviors with them uh, let us know so we can adjust things uh, accordingly um, when it comes to pickup time and drop off time um, a few things uh, to note and keep in mind is giving each other lots of space. Space is huge with dogs. Um, distance is our friend. <laughs> uh, a lot of our dogs are fearful of new people or reactive on leash to either dogs or people. Um, what does that mean? It means we give each other lots of space. We always ask permission before petting a dog. And a few things to avoid when meeting a new dog is look, <laughs> looking and staring. Um, avoid reaching and leaning over. So we don't wanna go like this towards the dog. Um, we wanna ignore them. Um, basically just keep really calm, give them space, take some breaths, <laughs> and just uh, make it um, as calm as possible. Um, an owner or a client that is already in the lobby may ask you to wait outside as their dog might be very fearful or reactive. In that case, we ask that you move away from the door uh, or move behind a car just to give the dog a lot of space as every dog is different and we like to provide daycare for all different types of dogs um, but sometimes that adding that leash can make them really uncomfortable so just respect each other's space um, and just be mindful of that uh, when coming in and out of the daycare. Uh, if your dog has had any reactivity issues that's def um, or changes definitely let us know that as well so we can Again, set your dog up for success uh, when attending Positive Pups. Um, let's think here. Uh, I think I've kind of got you guys filled up on lots of information as far as things um, go with daycare. Um, we are coming into spring and summer where we love to have fun with water and the pools. Um, again, we're not sure what's going to happen with water conservation um, and things like that. So we may have less pool parties. Um, that being said, I guess we'll play it by ear. But do let us know if you have any concerns about your dog coming home a little bit wet or a little bit dirtier. As that is just part of daycare. They're rolling around um, playing with other dogs and can sometimes get a little stinky. So um, we do our best to keep the facility as clean as possible uh, and hope that... It's definitely worth it for your doggies to come and join us and come home a little stinky because they just had the best day at doggy daycare ever. Um, while they're at daycare, they're socializing, they're playing with other dogs, they're getting lots of attention um, and training from our daycare attendants who are always practicing recalls out of play, sits for treat, um, manners at the door, as well as a lot of canine enrichment. So playing with tunnels, and different surfaces, exploring different objects like umbrellas and wheeled things like scooters and the vacuum. Uh, so we have lots of different fun during the day. And if you ever have different ideas or activities, definitely let us know. We're always planning things that sometimes it's hard to get it all uh, stuck in the schedule because there's always so much going on uh, at Positive Pups. So we are looking forward to an amazing 2024 
it's been off to an awesome, <laughs> an awesome but busy start. And uh, I can't wait to share um, what we have planned for you next. Wah! Tito says, hi, bye, mother, pay attention to me. And I say, I will. And uh, we can't wait to have you um, for some doggy daycare. So book in. We are getting busier and busier all the time. So definitely, the more you pre-book, the better. Uh, you can do that all online. So we'll see you soon.